good morning and welcome to a lecture on oscillators part 1 hello i am sachin gengaze professor and head department of electronics engineering at walchan institute of technology solapur the learning outcomes of this session includes after completing this session student will be able to explain working of phase shift oscillator which is a type of an rc oscillator and then the student will able to design a simple phase shift oscillator what is an oscillator the function of the oscillator is to generate alternating current or alternating voltage waveform one can define oscillator as a circuit that generates repetitive waveforms which are of fixed amplitude and fixed frequency without any external input so the oscillator circuit keep on generating a repetitive waveform the frequency and amplitude of this waveform is already pre decided now one can ask a question how a circuit can generate the output without any external input but definitely there is an input to the oscillator circuit and that input is in term of the dc power supply connected as we already know the oscillators find applications in many electronic devices ranging from simple clock generator wherever we require to generate a clock in digital circuit we require oscillator to complex digital instrument like computers and the peripheral common examples of the signal generated by oscillator include uh, the the signal broadcast by the radio and television transmitter we know in case of modulation Uh, we require a carrier signal and that carrier signal is generated by the oscillators clock signals and regulate computers and quad clocks they are also the they are also generated by the oscillator and for producing sounds by electronic beepers and video games oscillators are also being used what are the types of the oscillator the oscillators can be classified based upon the type of components used in which we can find the oscillators can be designed using r and c or l and c that is inductor and capacitor or even a crystal can be used as the frequency deciding component in an oscillator depending upon the type of the frequency generated by the oscillator the oscillator can either be of low frequency or of audio frequency Uh, or of the radio frequency radio frequency oscillators they produce high frequency waveform ranging from 100 kilohertz up to certain gigahertz and then oscillators are not always generating only sinusoidal waveform but they can also generate they are uh, waveform generators uh, which can generate even square wave or there can be oscillator which are generating triangular wave or a sawtooth wave uh, basically the oscillator they generate repetitive waveforms of fixed amplitude and fixed frequency so it can be of any type it may be sinusoidal square triangular or a sort of when we talk about the most popular type of the oscillators which are used for the audio frequencies those are the rc oscillator consisting of resistors and capacitor rc oscillator are mostly used to generate low frequencies for example in the range of audio common type of there are two common type of the rc oscillator the first one is called as the phase shift oscillator and the second one is called as the windridge oscillator now let us move ahead and understand a one popular type of the rc oscillator called as the phase shift oscillator so what is a phase shift oscillator phase shift oscillator is an electronic oscillator circuit that produces a sine wave or sinusoidal waveform output how it can be designed it consists of an inverting amplifier which is either can be designed using transistor or using op amp and then output of this amplifier is fed back to its input through a network which offers certain 
phase shift which is already we know how much phase shift is and then this phase shift network can be designed using resistor and capacitors okay so basically phase shift oscillator consists of two parts one is an inverting if we talk about the phase shift oscillator using op amp then we can say that the phase shift oscillator consists of two part one op amp as an inverting amplifier and the output of the op amp is fed back now this feedback network which is there it also adds some phase shift and then the total phase shift around the loop is of the 360 degree so please look at the circuit diagram this circuit is for the phase shift oscillator which can be designed using operational amplifier if you look at this there are two part this is operational amplifier as an inverting amplifier because you can see that the non inverting input is connected to the ground the feedback is there at the inverting terminal and then the another feed you can see that the output is again fed back through three stages of rc so r and c and then the total phase shift around the loop the total phase shift around the loop is of the 360 degree 180 degree of the phase shift is because of the inverting amplifier and remaining 180 degree of the phase shift is because of the 3 rc ladder network so op amp is used as an inverting configuration provide the phase shift of 180 degree and the remaining 180 degree phase shift is produced by the 3 rc network hence the total phase shift around the loop is of the 360 degree at some specific frequency when phase shift of the cascaded network is exactly 180 degree see the phase shift of inverting amplifier is fixed of 180 degree but by proper selecting values of uh, r and c at a certain frequency the rc network offers a phase shift of 180 degree at this particular frequency if the gain of the amplifier is sufficiently large then the circuit start oscillating and then the frequency of oscillation of this particular circuit or this particular oscillator is given by f0 which is nothing but the frequency of oscillation equal to 1 upon 2 pi root 6 into rc now if i if i substitute the value of pi and then calculate for all these value i can i can get that f0 is equal to 0.065 divided by rc where please remember r and c are the values of the resistor and capacitor the gain required for at this particular frequency at which the oscillation start is equal to 29 and as we know this is an inverting amplifier the gain of this is given by minus r by r1 but that minus we have already considered as a 180 degree phase shift so the gain of uh, this amplifier must be equal to 29 so when one can say that r by r1 must be equal to 29 so as to start the os rather to has the stable waveform at the output of the oscillator now with this i give you a question a very simple design design a phase shift oscillator for 200 hertz so we know we we already know the circuit we know uh, uh, the uh, various uh, equations and then using this equation the oscillator can be designed let us go ahead and uh, find out how this oscillator can be designed so coming again the same circuit is repeated over here we know the frequency of oscillation is f0 is equal to 0.065 divided by rc now i already know what what i want to do i want to design a oscillator for frequency of 200 hertz so i can say that uh, uh, r is equal to point then i can rearrange the, this equation r is equal to 0.065 divided by c into f0 now in this equation i know the value of f0 equal to 200 but there are two unknown one is called as r other one is called as the c this kind of problem is very typical in electronic design problems where you have more than one you have only one equation and maybe two unknown or three unknown variables to be found now this can be solved by assuming either the value of r or assuming value of c usually we assume the value of c because we have very limited choices available as far the c is concerned so let us let us assume uh, the c available on our shelf is of 0.1 microfarad so let us assume c is equal to 0.1 microfarad now if i substitute into this the now into this equation r equal to 0.065 the value of c and f0 i can see that r is of 3.25 uk now uh, 3.25 uk r is not usually available so what i can use is i can use resistor of 3.3k 
Now to prevent the loading of the amplifier because of the RC network, it is re required that this R1, this R1 should be equal to R. It, it, it should be greater than R, right? And we usually assume uh, this R1 is 10 times of the R. So we have already found the value of R 3.3K. So R will be, R1 will be equal to 33K. Lastly, we know that for the sustained oscillation, the gain of the circuit must be equal to 29. Inverting amplifier, so the gain is RF by R1. So RF is equal to 29 into R1. We have already found the value of R1 as a 33K. So RF must be equal to 957K. So what we can do is we can use 1 mega potentiometer over here. Lastly, uh, if we are using uh, 741, it is limited by the uh, uh, limited by the low slew rate. So if we want to design a uh, oscillator which of, of the higher frequency, we must use the op-amp which is having a higher slew rate like LM318 or LM351. So with that, we come to the end of this session in which we have discussed a design of the phase shift oscillator. The reference for this session is op-amp and linear integrated circuit by Ramakan Gaikwad. Thank you very much for attending the lecture and see you for the next lecture. Thank you.